What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a special unboxing. These last two, three years, everything has changed, man. Bots are buying up all the shoes. Resellers are charging two, three times the price of the shoe retail. So just, man, it's just been a terrible, terrible thing for people who genuinely love sneakers. You know, not buying into the hype, but buying into the actual uh, joy of buying sneakers. So, man, that's something that I've been experiencing and came with the idea of trying Nike by you. AKA Nike ID back in the day. I remember spending numerous hours uh, at home or at school in the computer lab making new shoes that I never bought. And I was like, man, well, since I wanna get this urge off, let me see what Nike by you has and uh, see what I can make. So I decided to go ahead and make this shoe today and I'm gonna unbox it with you guys. So I have not seen it myself yet. So I thought it'd be cool to kind of show you guys the process as I get it open, kind of see what I think. Give you guys my honest reviews, cause I'm not gonna fake it, man. I'm gonna tell you how it is. It's trash. I'll let you know if the quality is trash and all that, but this is a shoe that I got to make myself, so, you know. It's a one-of-a-kind experience, and, uh, you know, let's see what I made. Thank you, by you. So I created some Air Force Ones. There were not a lot of options on there. When I was on there recently, the only shoes that I saw was the Air Force One and the um, blazers. I was going to make some blazers, but I decided to go ahead and go with the classic Air Force One. So that's what I got in here right now, man. I'm excited to kind of open it up and show you guys and kind of give you a rundown on what my idea and inspiration was behind this shoe. But I ordered this shoe uh, July 22nd. Today is August 19th, so almost a month exactly. Yeah, but enough about that. Let's see what the shoe looks like. So the tissue says uh, Nike and the swoosh are trademarks. And your guarantee of quality. So it says one on one. I'm gonna show that, you know, this is a one on one kind of shoe, man. So, all right, let's see what it looks like. Okay. This is my first time seeing it, so I actually gotta check it out. I wanna talk on it too soon without checking it out myself, but. premium leather so uh just kind of seeing it's like that premium tumble leather there's one thing i hate is crease and shoes man the air force ones are known for just having terrible creases so that premium leather kind of keeps that leather a little higher quality so you don't gotta worry about creases but that's what i'm kind of looking at right now and the color is a little bit different but i still like it it's like a, a baby blue a little bit now my inspiration with these shoes man one of my favorite jordans so i'm I'm retros all day, man. I take retro colorways over nine times out of ten any colorway that you that they come out with. But one of my favorite Jordan ones that I'm sick I couldn't get retail, and I'm still trying to get my hands on a resale. But it's the Blue Moon and Clay Green Jordan ones. Both of those are just the, the cleanest colorways to me. So um, I made this shoe off of the Blue Moon. You guys seen the blue moon this is kind of what my inspiration was with this shoe something a little similar to it but um man it looks it looks good i usually don't wear air force ones often just because my feet my feet are pretty long so air force ones are huge on me but i don't want to try my feet real quick you guys i did like that as i was unboxing the shoe i quickly realized that i did an accent color uh nike swoosh and the stitching on the back of the shoe um compared to the black on black right here and the black swoosh so show you guys that again real quick i really think that that adds a whole other level to this shoe that i did not realize before but um you guys have known the comments which you like better this accent you like this shoe right here I don't wear a lot of my 
my shoes, man. I'm trying to get better at it. Nine times out of 10, man, I like my shoes to kind of be preserved. So the shoes that I do wear are, sure, are shoes that's gonna be durable, which are my Yeezys, any kind of Yeezys. You know, certain shoes that, you know, that come out of my closet more than often, but Air Force One is typically not one of them. But like I said, man, I had an itch to kind of buy a shoe, so this was kind of my, my relief to that itch. But yeah, that's my Nike shoe review, Nike by you review, man. I'm definitely gonna do this again. It was fun to create them. I didn't like waiting as long as I did, but let me know what you think about these shoes in the comments and what you think about Nike by you. But um, until then, man, I'll catch you guys on the next one.